Hey fam, how's it going? Again, this is kind of a departure from the videos that I normally make. Thanks for bearing with me. As you may know, I first came to YouTube way back in 2014 to share with people my experience around having reconstructive shoulder surgery. Since then, I've come back to YouTube and done a ton of stuff about physical training, working out, racing bikes, competing in jujitsu, and there were a lot of questions around, hey, how did you rehab your shoulder after that surgery? So I've made these few videos to show you how to do that. In video one, I tell you what to do in the six weeks to two months where you're still totally immobilized in that sling. Ah, uh, it's just the worst, isn't it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually rehab your shoulder now that you're able to move it. Rehabbing any kind of reconstructive surgery is built into three phases. The first is mobilizing. The second is stabilizing. The third is strengthening. So think about it this way. Your shoulder's been totally immobile for six weeks. All of your muscles have literally grown together. All that cartilage just kind of got nice and tight in there. And it's a good thing, right? Because you want to rebuild whatever you destroyed doing whatever stupid thing you did that made you separate your shoulder in the first place. Mine was trying to jump a curb going about five miles an hour on my bike the day before cyclocross season started. Regrettable. Anyways, you've damaged it, now you've repaired it, and now it's kind of in this atrophied weird state. So what you're gonna wanna do is mobilize. Then you're gonna wanna stabilize. Then you're gonna wanna strengthen. And in most people's recovery, those are three distinct phases and it makes recovery take a really long time. There are things you can do that actually do all three at the same time. At least that's what I found. And again, let me caveat that by saying I am not a trained professional. I do not have a PhD in human physiology. I'm just a guy who rehabbed my own shoulders super quick, and this is how I did it. So here are the exercises that I highly, highly recommend. One, wall slides. Now you can do this with a TRX suspension trainer or you can actually do this against any wall. This is not a strengthening exercise, it is purely mobility. What you wanna do is lay with your back against the wall or just performing a standing plank, pull your arms against the straps or push them against the wall and then move your arms up and down while maintaining either tension on the straps or contact with the back of your arms against the wall the whole way up. So you want the back of your hand and the elbow and your butt touching the wall the whole time you slide your hands up and move them down. The second exercise are kettlebell halos. Now I do these half kneeling and kneeling. The idea is that you are drawing a circle, an imaginary circle around your head. Your body remains completely stable and imagine that there is a string pulling from the top of your head up through the ceiling so that your spine is completely straight, your head, your shoulders, your hips are all in alignment, your body doesn't move and the kettlebell is just gently circling around your head. Now, bottom up kettlebell presses in a kneeling position. You can do this half kneeling and kneeling. So you're just gonna hold the kettlebell in your hand bring it to your chest, push it up overhead, and then imagine bringing it down in a slow, controlled way. When you push it up, imagine exploding up. When you bring it down, imagine that you're slowly pulling it down into place. You're not letting it fall, you're kind of pulling it back to where it started. Turkish get-ups with no weight. I recommend doing these with a shoe on your fist. Now this is purely a mobilization exercise, but it's a full body movement, and this will definitely help with T-spine mobility. Your T-spine will be super jacked up because your body has been totally out of whack because one of your arms isn't working the whole time. So the way to do this is to just take a shoe, it also works with a book, but something that doesn't weigh very much so that you're not actually putting a lot of pressure on your shoulder, and locking your arm out, doing a full Turkish get up all the way up and coming back down without letting that shoe fall off of your hand. Way harder than it looks. Way harder, seriously. The other exercises I wanna recommend are a T-spine mobility exercise on the TRX suspension trainer. This is sort of a basic kind of opener. Just let your 
non-working arm fall to the side behind you and then bring it back. Fall behind you, bring it back. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. The next, lay on your back and reach over your opposite shoulder. This is like a basic jujitsu upa, right? This is how you escape from mouth. This is also a really good way to regain that T-spine mobility that has been so sort of wadded up in, uh, in the time that you were in the sling. So that's it. Those are the exercises that I use to rehab my AC separation uh, and get back in the game. Now, I came back pretty quick. I was back on a bike 10 and a half weeks after surgery. That means both hands on the handlebars, descending at 45 miles an hour again, controlling my bike, and then I was back into jujitsu in about six months after surgery. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope you found this helpful. I'm, I'm happy to share this with you. It was, it was kind of a hard time for me, and I hope this makes things a little bit easier for you. All right, until next time, keep the rubber side down and take care of yourself.